I'm inspired by Miles Davis, everybody, the trumpet player, who um, did pretty well for himself. I think if you, if you know anything about music, you know that, that he was a, a pioneer jazz trumpeter. He practically founded a, a jazz style called bebop. And a lot of people say, well, you know, Miles came from a privileged background. His dad was a dentist. He attended Berklee School of Music, didn't graduate, by the way, uh, either left or got kicked out, depending on who you talk to. And um, my point is that Miles got a real, real early start in life because he was such a good musician. When people came to St. Louis, people like Duke Ellington and other famous musicians, erstwhile mentors came to St. Louis. Miles got asked to sit in with a band. So he met all these guys at age 17. And here's the first thing I want you to write down today. I hope you all have pens. Write this down. You only have to meet somebody one time to say that you know them. And so your goal should be right now to meet as many people as you can, as fast as you can. Just connect with them. And I'll be sharing some tips for that with you uh, for getting that done in very short order. Um, it's kind of like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz because you're all wearing the magic slippers right now, but you don't know it. You have all these tools available to you. One of them is a simple telephone. And yet we're reluctant to use the phone for various reasons. So I hope to help you not only rediscover the telephone and other tools tonight, but I'll, I'll even show you techniques that I use to, to use the phone even now to connect with mentors. Um, this is an important topic, everybody, this idea of being 18 or 19 or 22 or 26 or 28 or 32 years old and being able to think ahead. All of you can think back five years with no problem, 10 years with no problem, but very few people are able to think ahead a year or two years with any kind of certainty, with any kind of clarity. It's just so hard to predict the future. And yet the great uh, John, uh, Jim Rohn said that you are the sum total of the five people you hang around with most. That should have you thinking, rethinking your list of friends, right? I mean, think about this. If you hang around with people who don't care about money, you are not likely to care about money. Not that money's the be all and end all. If you hang around with five people that don't take care of themselves health-wise, you're not likely to become a healthy person. You'll, you'll have their kind of lifestyle. You with me? If you hang around with people who don't read, the odds of you reading a book and sharing the contents of it with them are slim to none. So we are who we hang around with. And so this idea of, uh, of trying to do better with that mix is very helpful. I would never tell you to say goodbye to the friends that aren't serving you well, but I would suggest that you say hello to them less frequently. There's only 24 hours in a day, everybody. And if you want to trade up, you're going to have to start spending time with people who have more nutritional value for you. There is a Zoom tray, a system tray in the bottom of your screen. Uh, it says reactions. Would you all click on it, please? It'll open up a bunch of things that you can, signals that you can send. One of them is called the thumbs up. Could you just click the thumbs up if you're hearing me right now? Um, and, and it's good practice anyway. If you hear something you like, thank you very much, Shira. Uh, you'll notice there is no thumbs down in the systems tray. You will not be disagreeing with me during this call. <laughs> 